All right, everybody. Thank you, B-Sides, for everything you've done to make this event happen. Give yourselves a big hand. 2024 in the books, and it was a heck of a year. Uh, we I did a lot of new things this year. We had some new uh, uh, training opportunities, new you know uh, facilitated discussion groups in higher ground that seemed to go over really well. Uh, people were very enthusiastic about that change from our previous uh, mentoring we had there. Uh, we had 491 proposals this year for talks across our various tracks. Uh, we had 202 talks and trainings across those 10 tracks. Uh, well, excuse me, we had 201 because we had one that uh, we had a last minute cancellation due to a little bit of a food incident at Nobu. Um, and, uh, we, with 45 minutes before the talk and we couldn't, uh, we couldn't get a speaker in in time. But uh, at any rate, uh, I was uh, really pleased with the, the quality and the caliber of the talks this year. Our keynotes were both we got a lot of uh, people coming up after who were very. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm not. Oh, hello. My, is the mic fading in and out? Okay. I will. I will attempt to be very intimate with this mic. Um, so forgive me if I, I get a little carried away, but. Uh, <clears throat> At any rate, uh, uh, so what I was saying was, uh, not knowing where that cut out exactly, uh, we had a lot of uh, good feedback on the two keynotes that we had, the people coming up afterwards uh, really engaged. We had a difficult time actually getting one of the keynote speakers to her next talk, which was <laughs> directly afterwards, so that's a lesson for us not to try and schedule that next year. Um, <laughs> at any rate, uh, <clears throat> Uh, one of the biggest things, of course, this year was uh, our new uh, partnership with Skytalks, which we've always been big fans of. Uh, we've always... That's what I love to hear. Uh, we've always had a strong commitment to this kind of uh, community and this kind of discovery and sort of unfettered uh, discussion of ideas through our own underground track. But having the uh, the full focus of the Sky Talks folks able to just you know be you know doing that and that alone uh, was amazing for us to have here. Uh, we're very honored to have them as part of the team. Uh, we do have you know uh, I think we, we got a little better with the lines as time went on, but we already have some ideas for how to do that better next year. Uh, so uh, again, big hand for Sky Talks, and uh, long may it continue to uh, fill the airwaves. And finally, I did warn you all, um, there will be, uh, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let Dichotomy here talk about some of uh, his contest stuff, but first off, we had in one of our trainings, we had our own little mini CTF, um, and I'm gonna have our instructor there come up and talk about his uh, CTF and introduce some of the winners. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead, introduce yourself. You can talk a little bit about who you are, what you do, and uh, your CTN, and your whole uh, forensics training. So Appreciate it. Hello, Las Vegas. How we doing? Get, 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 get. <laughs> All right, so my name is Kerry Hazelton. The hacker community back on the East Coast knows me as Professor Kilroy. I have been teaching on cloud forensics for the past seven plus years. This is my first besides Las Vegas. Um, I've had the honor of teaching at Nova, DC, Idaho Falls, Kansas City, pretty much all over. Um, this was an amazing adventure for me, to be perfectly honest with you. So two day training, day one, labs, discussions. Day two, I do have a CTF where I have 12 challenge coins up for grabs. All right, in no particular order, actually we're gonna go with third place team here. I got the coins. Third place with a score of 6,000 is the Lonely Forensicators Club. Where are you? Come on up. All members from Lonely Forensicators Club, come on up, get your coins. All 
All right, you'll have to pass this out to the others. I don't know where they are. Awesome. Appreciate it. All right, second place with a score of 6,250 points, Desert Heat. Where are you? Come on up. <clears throat> Job well done. Congratulations. <clears throat> And the winners of the gold challenge coins with the score of 8,800 points, CH Mod, where are you? Come on up. Las Vegas, your champions of the Cloud Forensic CTF for this year's event. Congratulations. 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 One more. I also have up for grabs a 30-day subscription to Try Hack Me for the person who turned in the highest individual score. And with a score of 4,500 points, that would be Ren, where are you? One of your volunteers, give it up. There might be signs. Congratulations, my friend, job well done. It's been an honor. I'll see y'all down the road. All right, uh, Dichotomy, you want to talk a little bit about uh, Capture the Flag and Pros v. Joes? Sure. I'm looking at my staff to come on up here. <laughs> so I'm Dichotomy. I've been running the Pros v. Joes, but not alone with the help of these amazing people here and many more you don't see. Uh, we run a... Good? Okay. We run an offensive defensive CTF where we uh, put out calls for a bunch of people to come and play in our game as defenders, the Joes. Uh, and we have here, you can see in the red shirts, the uh, uh, red shirts, hmm. uh, the red shirts, the uh, offensive team that uh, get weeks of ad advanced act, uh, access into the environments that we build laborious three through three year, very much like enterprise networks, uh, Active Directory and our web desktop servers, all those wonderful things. They go in and act as adversaries of the advanced nature, get in there, do all these bad things and then the blue teams come in here for two days after weeks of preparations with the blue shirts you see over there their captains have you know spending weeks preparing figuring out what they might do to defend to detect to threat hunt all those good things and then after that uh, lovely adventure they get in there and they go to you know face to face with the red team in those systems for two straight days lots of fun lots of packets spilled on the floor uh, lots of subterfuge lots of c2 lots of persistence lots of all those wonderful things and at the end of the day uh, on the second day we have a little thing called scorched earth where those who still are in control of their systems uh you know offensive control of the systems can burn them to the ground uh, another thing we do on day two is uh the blue teams can go offensive against each other so it's a lot of fun a lot of learning and then there's a huge hot wash at the end where the red team discloses all the horrible things that they did talk about the technicals talk about what defenders could do to defend lots of questions and exchanges and all that good stuff so i want to thank my team here all right we got bob we got anarchy blue fox brimstone cause cyber Korg, ETH5, Easy X, Father Stalin, Gabe the Engineer, Jeff, Hazar, I Digital Flame, I Found It This Way, Ixum, Liftigroft, Mark, Misfit, Nita Mulligan, Niden, Tectonic, Viangeles, the Watchdog and Zeus, and you may notice there's more names than people here. We had people offline, of, you know, wherever they were for two straight days on conference calls, not here to have the fun, and they were busting their humps to try and make this a, a great event for our Joes. So let me, please give my staff a hand. Please give my players a hand. Uh, the winning team was, in fact... The winning team was, in fact, titled, there's no way it was DNS. So, you know, that should tell you something. So thank you all. It was a wonderful time. We love B-Size Las Vegas. We're honored to be here. We are excited to be back here again. So thank you, and have a good night. Okay, folks. Thank you. All right. This still remains one of my favorite things about B-Sides. This, this is just my idea of, like, the perfect... CTF for our mission, and I'm thrilled and honored that they keep coming back year after year. <clears throat> I'm just stalling because, of course, uh, the next thing uh, is our auction, and uh, there's far more important things than, you know, me uh, talking 
to be to done here. So. Uh. Welcome everybody. We made it to the end, almost, but not yet. <laughs> My horns want to do their own thing. So this year, we have EFF and Bilality. Balid. Balid. <laughs> sorry, I have a tongue twister. Is our two supported charities for this year. We had 18 different donors donate up to 37, or sorry, actually it was 57 items. I wrote that wrong. And we were able to bring in a grand total before this of $9,927. Now we have two items that were not picked up. Would you guys like to do an auction? Live. Woo! All right, up for bids is a get out of jail free card. Two of them, you can bring a friend. <laughs> um, These totally work, trust me. <laughs> and if you do, please record it and post it so we can see. <laughs> let's start at the bid at $5. And I am not your lawyer. 63, anybody else? <laughs> Going once. He's got plans. Going twice. <laughs> Sold. What? 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 There's a. We, what? A hundred in the back. Hundred in the back. Woo! I hear one hundred. Okay. All the way I back. hear one hundred. One hundred. <laughs> Going once. One hundred five. One twenty. <laughs> Do I hear any one thirty? One thirty. Two hundred. How much more can we waste? Come on, we got two hundred. Going once. Going twice. Sold for two hundred. Come on down. That's actually gonna. You want me to do math? Uh, do you mean the t the total that we've raised, or do you mean? The yeah, the okay. total. So that's going to put us over 10,000 at this yes. point. But I'll tell you something. There's a little. Okay. Nope, better to the left. <laughs> <laughs> this one is four SAOs. I'm assuming we all know what an SAO is. We have an FRID field detector, a tricorder SAO, a summer camp SAO, and an interactive SAO that were donated by Make It Hacken. Let's go ahead and start the bid at 45. 45. 100. 200. 250. Philly in the house. 250. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Have you two come back down here and we'll get you paid. I told everybody at the booth when we were doing the raffles that if they didn't get picked up, they were going to be put in a lucky pile of the lucky loser. So we have three items that did not get picked up. So if you have your raffle tickets, Go ahead and get them out real quick. We have the declassified coffee from, you know, NSA. Unfortunately, it is decaf, but still tastes good, I guess. And a sticker that goes with it. We have a lovely badge. I'm trying to remember what this, oh, ThoughtCon 2023, Thought, ThoughtCon Infinity. The batteries work, you made sure everything's there. You don't have to go to the store and get batteries. And then we have DEF CON 27 DC 801 badge. Same thing, they have been taken care of, their batteries in here and they properly work. So, are we ready to pick out the lucky loser? Ready? Yeah. All right. 
Huh? I'm trying to give people to get their tickets because some people have a lot of tickets. I was there. <laughs> All right. We're going to go for one more. We'll see if this one wins. Two, two, three, eight, one, four. Anybody got that ticket? Going once. Going twice. Next one. <laughs> this is the only one you have to actually wait for ones to be pulled and pulled. All right, ticket number two, two, three, seven, eight, eight, eight. Damn. Yay! Yeah, let's check. We're not double checking anything. It's yours. <laughs> it is a winner. It is a match. This is close enough. Woo! There you go. Thank you all. It's been a wonderful year, and next year we've already had lots of people saying, I'm bringing more stuff. So next year we're probably gonna have, have, we're probably gonna have to have a bigger table because I've already had about 10 to 15 people saying they're bringing tons of their stuff to donate. So bring your spending money. So bring your spending money, and I'll bring the wonderful items. Have a good night. All right, thank, thanks very much. Uh, all of you as well, thank you for everything you've done. Uh, the generosity that you've shown here to get that number up over 10,000, um, well, B-Sides is feeling pretty generous too, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and we're gonna round that total up to $15,000. So congratulations, you all were part of that. All right. So we, uh, we don't have anything else to cover in terms of things that we've already done, but I would like to call back to the thing I warned you about at the beginning of this conference, which was that we were gonna check up on you and how you did with that whole crack business. So I wanna see a show of hands, folks here. Who met somebody new at this conference? Wow. Wow, that's that was un unanimous. I didn't. I don't think uh, that's amazing. I'm so I'm so happy. All right, who learned something new at this conference? <laughs> okay, I like where this is going. Uh, who is going to go out and do something new after this conference as a result of something that you did here today? Oh man, this is this is. I'm getting chills. This is this is why we do this. This is why I spend 14 days in the desert. <laughs> Wandering like a lost prophet, but uh, <laughs> okay. Well, uh, folks, that is that is the most amazing thing. I, that's the best uh, reward I could have possibly hoped for from that. Um, go forth, be excellent to each other, and remember the things that you're doing. Those all those things you're raising your hand for. That is literally what what is changing the world, one life at a time, and that's what B sides is all about. So. Give yourselves a hand and come back next year.